It happened right here at Quick Trip Neighborhood Market. A four foot concrete saw came flying down this parking lot and landing right here, just inches from the door, seconds after somebody had just walked in. I mean, obviously it wasn't my time, but <laughs> yeah. it's probably the closest I've ever experienced it. Shane Remke is still shaking just thinking about how he narrowly escaped death on Thursday after a four-foot concrete saw blade came flying from a nearby construction site, slamming into the wall of this liquor store just seconds after Remke had just walked in. So I was walking into the store here, I put my handle on the door, and uh, I heard a loud bang and yelling over here at the corner. Just as a cloud of smoke pops up and I see a guy fall into the ditch, and a four-foot blade hurling at me <laughs> as I'm walking through the doorway. A traffic contractor who witnessed the incident says a loose bolt and a possible operator error may have caused the giant saw blade to come loose and spin away at high speeds straight for the liquor store. Oh my God, I, 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 I tears all night. Like yeah, it was, it was, it was petrifying. I was. I was shaking in the store. It kicked me a little bit before I could talk. Store owner Amit Graywall and his mother are seen here behind the counter when they hear a loud noise. Graywall can see the blade on security camera fly towards his store. All I heard was like a metal rolling down from the street and I looked at the camera. It was just wind. And all of a sudden we heard a loud bang like it shook the, literally the whole store. Just for some height comparison here, I'm about five foot nine. You can see right here where the top of the blade is would have been right here at the beginning of my torso. The blade, Graywall says, embedded nearly two feet deep into the wall of his store. He says it took three men to remove the massive blade. A contracted traffic worker tells me off camera, Northwest Natural Gas and two other contractors, Bricks Paving Northwest and Integrity Traffic, are in the area working on a leaky gas valve near a sidewalk. Graywall says there's already shifting blame as to who's responsible for this close call. Northwest Natural Supervisor was already here, so he said, we're not responsible. It's a third party contract that's responsible for this. I reached out to Northwest Natural Gas. They say the incident was very unusual and they're glad no one got hurt. They say a contractor at their site is responsible and they've removed that contractor from work while they review the incident. Remke says after video of the incident went viral on social media, his kids rushed home to see him. Uh, they all came to my house and hugged me and we had lots of cries and I, I, I'm thankful to be here really. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I was thinking maybe it's my time, but I don't think I would have survived even touched by that thing. Despite his near-death experience, Remke says he'll continue to shop at the liquor store. In Eugene, Aaron Ariano, KZI 9 News.